Los Pinos. Los Pinos. Música tradicional cubana. Ah, Muy buena música. Play. Can you play? Los Pinos. Play. Mm -hmm. Me recuerdo. It's a gold school bus. It just goes around in circles. When I travel, I do a lot of research beforehand. And then when I get here, uh, I don't always stick to the plan. Case in point, we were supposed to be heading back to Havana today, but we decided that we would stay at La Boca. The girls just really like it there. There's a nice beach nearby. The hosts are awesome. So that's what we're doing. Uh, currently in Trinidad, and uh, I think we're gonna go do some souvenir shopping. Look at my think? fish shirt. Look at Kylie's fish shirt. I bought it with my own money. She bought it with her own money. This is the Park Central, one of the two places in Trinidad that actually has Wi-Fi. The other place is Plaza Mayor. And in order to access Wi-Fi, you gotta, you gotta buy these Itexa cards. They cost two to three dollars and it gives you one hour of really, really bad internet access. I mean, it's, it's so slow. I mean, the only thing you can really do is uh, update your, your Facebook and your Instagram, which doesn't appear to be working for me. I don't know why. What do you think about Trinidad, girls? It's pretty. Very pretty. This city is so, so aesthetic. But in my opinion, I wouldn't stay here. I would stay closer to the beach. And then you take a taxi in here and just hang out for the day. But I would rather stay with Aceo. Yeah, Aceo is awesome. We could, yeah. No, this is the same place. We're going the same way. But yeah, I, that's what I would do, in my opinion. Just because it's more calming and relaxing out just near where we it. are. Yeah, go to SAL's Airbnb. I'll leave the link in the description. And then uh, take a taxi into here for like six, six dollars. Walk around for the day. All right, we've wandered into a little trinket shop. That's a little, that's a wooden thing. I, too low, low. I know it's hot. It is very hot. Closer to the coast, the um, at La Boca, it's a little cooler because you get that sea breeze. Here in Trinidad, it's just still air. It gets very hot. It's high noon right now, so we're all we're all sweating hard. Mucho, mucho, muy caliente. No, mucho calor. Mucho calor. I don't know. It is. Um, the plus side is that if you are on like an extreme budget, you'll probably get better deals here because you can just bargain with this anybody. This adventure is good and fun. Uh, because there's so much competition here. Alright. You want a cerveza? <gasps> what? Horsey! Oh. See? Taurus wearing fedoras. <laughs> Almost every single one of these houses in these little alleys, somebody is either 
know, they, they're running out of rooms or they have a little restaurant or they're selling trinkets. Almost every single one I've seen so far. Pet birds are very popular here. I've seen so many people walking around the street just holding a bird or carrying a bird on a leash. It's so interesting. Oh, they try to rip each other's uh, swings. Ni hao! Ni hao! Ni hao! Ni hao! Hola! Man, I, I thought New York was a very uh, picturesque city, but Trinidad is probably the most picturesque city I've ever been in. Now that looks like a Toyota Corolla. And it, I think it's some sort of Russian vehicle. And I am stepping in all sorts of weird puddles. This tastes better than most pizzas in yeah, Lebanon. Really good. Yeah. Seriously. What about not, not better than pachitos. This is our favorite. Seafood, creamy seafood bisque. I have no idea what's in it, but this is what we had the first night we were here, and it is excelente. Is that right? La comida. La comida. La comida está tan buena. Dude, your eyes like poke out your head. Like, I know. I'm trying to do a Mark Wiens thing. And what is this? Papas fritas. Mm -hmm. French fries with. In other words, it has some French sort of fries. Arroz y papas fritas. But the rice is. Different. different tonight. Tastes like Spanish rice. Yeah, it looks very Spanish. Tastes like Spanish rice, like plain Spanish rice. Mmm. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. This has almost a fried rice taste to it. But I'm gonna try this. Oh, this smells a lot different. I don't know what it is. By looks of it. Some kind of onion cabbage mixture. Wow. No. Tastes like spinach cabbage. It does. <laughs> I wonder where you got that idea. <laughs> That's a good description. Who said that, Mom? That, that tastes like Spanish kimchi. I don't know what it is, but it's probably my favorite thing I've had. Seriously? Yeah, I really like that. It has hot dogs in it. He's gonna like it. A weird thing about my dad is he loves hot dogs. Well, it's not weird, know. it's just... Yeah, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's delicious. It's definitely cabbage and onion of some sort, but the seasoning is way different than anything else I've had so far. Mm -hmm. Guess? Se llama col salteado. Oh, like a coleslaw. It's like a Spanish coleslaw. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Repollo. Repollo. In English, no se. Cola. Cola. Like coleslaw. Yeah, I think he said coleslaw. Yeah, it's a cabbage. So there's a, like you can't say English. Yeah, it's a Spanish. But not fermented. English, no se. 
Uh-huh. Okay, I don't know. Like but look at that. Guys, check this out. Say. That looks good. That is... That looks so good. Cuban lobster. Langoustine. That, that looks delicious. Cool. I think that's... That looks... Oh my gosh. How is your fork? We got... We asked them to tally up the bill for the last, uh, how many days? Three. Three days, and it came out to about 160. What? That'd be like 160 a night. But I drank, I, I don't even know how many beers I drank, and they're $2 each, and plus water, so. I did some quick math in my head, and I figured Ooh. it's about $10 per plate. But we're talking about like, This would be like fresh seafood that Asaya caught. Or maybe. Yeah. So, it's very, very affordable, and you can definitely eat way cheaper by going to Trinidad and buying yourself. Uh, you can go to Trinidad and buy yourself some peso pizza. What's that? It's good. That the pizza we had for no, like fifty peso? cents. Very good. Delicious. It tastes like lobster. Cuban lobster with Cuban kimchi. Mm, Excellent. All right, that's it. That's the vlog. Don't be a cheapskate. Book a week here at Asayas Place. Link is in the description. By the way, I get a little bit of credit for, for you guys booking me uh, through my link. Um, um, uh, affiliate link, Airbnb. I get like $40 credit, $20 credit or something if they use my link. So use the link. So use the link. Holy not sponsored.